Welcome to the channel. This is the third video in the series that I'm doing on WebEx calling. And today we're going to start configuring our calling service. And the first place that we need to start with is locations. Now, just so you know, this is a brand new control hub. Uh, I haven't done anything to this configuration, at least not yet. Okay. So one of the first things that you're going to want to do when you start off fresh like this is, you know, just for your convenience, you're going to want to change the idle timeout settings. Changing the settings will keep you from getting logged out if you happen to step away for a few minutes. So for that, we're going to come over here to organization settings. Then we'll scroll down to the idle timeout and we'll change that to no timeout. And our changes are automatically saved. Now in a production environment, you'd want to keep the timeout to just 20 minutes, just for security purposes. But since this is a lab, then of course that's going to be just fine. Okay. So next let's go up to management and then locations. And you can see we've already got a default location D cloud. And if you're using the calling sandbox, then yours is probably going to be called site one. And that's okay. We can use this one, but of course we're going to need to edit it. So to do that, just click on the location, you know, whatever yours is called, and then click on this little pencil icon over here. Now we can edit the name and I'm going to call this one Seattle. And then for the address, let's say 400 Broad Street. And now we can get the zip code and everything else from this drop down. And you want to check to make sure it's the correct time zone. And I guess here we'll go ahead and say American English. And then we can save that. Okay. Now we're going to come back up here to the calling tab. Then in the calling connection section, we're going to click manage and we're going to choose premise based PSTN. Now, normally you'd see two other options here, cloud connected PSTN and Cisco PSTN. Uh, but these have been disabled at the moment due to some security issues. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, premise based PS10 is all we need. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Then click next. Now for the connection type, we're going to select none. Uh, even though it's already chosen for us, we have to go in and select it manually. And then uh, we'll select this checkbox confirming that we understand that this will change our PST and settings and then we'll select next again. And then this screen is just to confirm our settings. And if we're happy with our settings, then we can go ahead and choose add numbers now. Then confirm our location, Seattle, click next, and then we can add our numbers. Now we're going to be entering fake numbers here just because this is our lab. So we want to enable this option, activate numbers later, then we'll enter Seattle's area code then 555 and then you can add any random number here. Then finally, we'll come back down here and click save. You'll get a little green confirmation that it successfully added the numbers and then you can click close. Okay. Now we're going to go back over to locations. We'll click on our Seattle location. Then we're going to click the calling tab again. And then under the main number, we're going to select the fake number that we just created. Then we'll click save. And then of course we'll get that green confirmation that we successfully updated the main number. Okay. Now we're going to set up a second location and this second location is going to be in Tokyo, Japan. And we're doing it this way so that in a later video, we can see how to set up internal dialing and then how to call between multiple locations. Now here we're going to be setting up our second location from scratch instead of just, you know, editing an existing location. So for that, We'll go back to locations, then we'll select manage locations, then create manually. And then here, this is similar to what we did before uh, for the name. We'll just say Tokyo. Of course, that'll be in Japan. And the address here is going to be 22nd F Asuka. That's in Minato. And of course, that'll be Tokyo. And the zip is 1076122. Time zone is going to be Asia, Tokyo, of course, and we'll keep that in American English, despite the fact that it is in Japan. Then we'll click create and then close. Okay. From here, we'll go up and select our newly created Tokyo location. Then of course we'll select the calling tab and set up calling. And for the connection type, we'll once again, choose premise based PSTN. Then we'll select next. 
And again, we'll need to manually come up here and select none and then check the box and then click next. We'll add numbers now, confirm the Tokyo location, and then we'll activate the number later. Then we'll say 03 and then 5555. There are four numbers in the prefix here and then one, two, three, four for the number. We'll hit enter and save. And great, successfully saved our number. So then we can go ahead and close that out. And then now what we need to do is go back to locations. And this time we'll choose our Tokyo location. And then of course the calling tab. And just as before, we'll go to the calling connection section. And then for the main number, we'll choose the fake number that we just created. We'll save that and then get our green confirmation message. Okay, so that's locations, users, and licenses the next video. I'll see you there.